I'm starting a new that, OnlyFans, well, and it's all too. homeless people masturbating. Soul was in the air. Natalie hurt my feelings. So this week on Gas Games, now I'm over here drinking, trying to get my life insane. Ba 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 ba, trying to get my Dad, you hurt my fucking feelings. Dad, one of these days we're gonna get DC up here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of these. We did that intro a while ago, and it took a lot of effort. We should make a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, I tell. And then right after we added him, yeah. and I was like. Give it a little time. <laughs> uh, we're gonna, we're gonna. It's not like you guys added pockets. So we're gonna fine. put DC as the shelf on the elf. Uh, shelf on the elf on the, on the, the elf on the shelf. Guys, wait before Sorry. we start. Yeah, what's up? He's starting with some. Selamat <laughs> dating the doping the sekertaka the akraka a asap. Actually, the whitest he's ever seen. The whitest is the whitest thing ever seen. Minagu Panji Sayatun Rama Ada Dilanegri. I for all my honestly uh, as the third <laughs> as, as the third biggest comic in in Indonesia, <laughs> I'm gonna tell Dylan Negri to shut the fuck up for y'all. I speak for uh, at least a third Who's of the, the population of Indonesia. This is doped up and dying. D Sunday morning smoke show. My name is Kevin Sanchez. I got the great, the young, the 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 old man opinionated. Appa J Negri. <laughs> Appa I mean, he does try. Right next to him <laughs> is the dude, Come the on, the man. wannabe I'm philosopher. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't mean to start sneak dissing already. My bad, yo. Am I sneak dissing? We got <laughs> no. You're not sneaking. That's the problem. <laughs> we got. It's, you're very Kevin, overt. Kevin, Kevin, yeah. You're just dissing. Yeah. I'm just dissing. <laughs> you're just, you're just oh, dissing. oh my bad. You're just dissing. I'm from you know? Harlem. I start problems. He's Dominican. He can't speak Spanish. <laughs> Dipset. <laughs> uh, we got my also my my, my future co-producer. We're producing a show together yes, in Harlem. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Right? Yes, we are. What My man it? right here. We're making moves out what is, here. What is it called? Is uh Bodegas no. Bodegas and Oxtail? Is that what this what's nope. it called? No. <laughs> nope, not even a little Panji Adala comedian Yang Lunar Pisa. <laughs> Yo, did the, he do it? Did he do it? Yo, you know what's no. crazy? No. <laughs> yeah, you know what's crazy, Dylan? Way I, off. <laughs> I don't I don't know how you just did this, but you just got eight million Indonesians to hate you. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> That's so. Wow, you would think. I blew let's up in let's welcome our special guest. He's a Akupan Menatu Amu. Christ, bro. What is that? I mean? love you. What are they trying to say? I know the first Akupun. Akupun. I, I love you. Uh, Akupun. Akupun. You too. <laughs> Panji. I know we just met Akapoon you too. <laughs> Penji, well, you, had, you had that Apu, Aka, Akapoon in your eye. I saw it. I saw it's that, right. that Akapoon twinkle. Akapoon means me too. I also. No, no Akapoon. <laughs> no Akapoon in this studio. You gotta be careful. You gotta be, no, Akapoon no, us. You know, you know white dude's got a thing for Asian people. So, you gotta, <laughs> so uh, he's already saying he loves you, all this kind of shit. Do not Akapoon us, please. Yeah. <laughs> I do want to be Akapooned. <laughs> we, with all that said, <laughs> with all that said, we have a rock star in the building. That he had to pull we up. Have, we have one of the biggest rappers. Oh shit! You gotta oh, do it like that. I gotta do it like that. <laughs> oh shit! We have one of the biggest comedians coming out of Indonesia. Give it up for Panji Brakiwasono. What up, you guys? Dylan totally, DC totally shitted on my intro. By the way, <laughs> you didn't even finish it. Did you realize that? Yeah, yeah, I realized that. Well, I'll tell you, Th that's uh, my future co-producer right there. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I, have I feel to, sorry for you. Yeah. You know what it is? When you're producing a show with someone, you gotta establish dominance early. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta let them know that you're gonna walk all over See, them. We were talking about this before you got here. You know, this is a New York mentality. This is the first yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. These are my closest friends. Mm -hmm. I actively tell them I'm funnier than them. Yeah. <laughs> no one believes yeah, no. me. <laughs> no, no, one, one, no, no one, one believes the shit. No but... one shakes their head. No one goes like this. <laughs> He's doing something right. I don't know. It, by the way, the response is always, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but I keep saying it, you know, keep them on the toes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep yeah. Them on the toes. toes. You know? I don't know, bro. But I want to say this about Panji. I want to do what one of things about Panji. What do you want to say about Panji? Oh, Daya! Oh, oh Lord. God. Yang Terabak. What? Are we gonna do this all episode? <laughs> <laughs> well, you usually you butcher it. You don't drink. Natalie, Dylan if to you're gonna talk it. to me, talk to me in interview. And you hear that voice? The millions and millions of motherfuckers in Indonesia. That's our fucking. That's our producer, Natty Light. 
Natty Ice out Ooh. here. What up? <laughs> skate, skate. <laughs> Natalie has a uh, uh, um, bl- uh, explosive personality. You can see it all the way to Indonesia. She's electric, really. Yeah. <laughs> so, Panji, you're in New York City. Yes, I am. How right? many times have you visited New York? What, what, what trip is this? This is my third one. I've oh, been wow. going back and forth since January. Okay. Yeah. So this, so this, is so not, that, this is not an escape or anything. You're not? No. Okay. Kind. Oh. Well, <laughs> well, what did you do in Indonesia? Did you get Akapun Kama? <laughs> <laughs> What's Akapun Kama? <laughs> Me too. Oh, did yeah, you get Akapun? <laughs> you know what? That's Akapun? very funny. I mean, to Indonesian, uh, Akapun does mean me, me too. I mean, literally. Yeah. But uh-huh. in Indonesia, me too isn't phrase. Oh, now. what's the phrase they have? <laughs> what's their me too? There is no what's... me too in Indonesia. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wait, think about it's it. a man's hey, world. It's just canceled. People are just getting canceled. The age of consent is. <laughs> it's... But uh, but uh, yeah, it's nice to be here, man. Thank, thank you so much dude, for coming. Yeah, out. Yeah, thank yeah. you for coming out. Dude. I'm ready to bring all my Indonesian people to this podcast. Hell right? yeah, but, well, don't like make them stay. Like not some refugee shit. But like they can come. They no, can no, 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 no. Like, they can live with us. DC, <laughs> yeah. you need more room. No, no, no. <laughs> DC, right, to live know, on- honestly. Some I've I've seen some Indonesian uh, women, some very beautiful. So some. they're like brown <laughs> Asians, some. right? You no, no, they, that like, but that's everywhere. That's God, the, that's, that's, uh, I get it, though. I get it. If you're if you're not watching the podcast and you're listening, that voice you hear that's trying to cuck an entire nation. <laughs> <laughs> that's DC Williams. The to cuck a nation. To, he said, "Hey man, I really like your people, but they're like." Kind of pretty, no, right? <laughs> I never seen a dude trying to cuck an entire nation. I would, I would never, I would never cuck this someone. This is why he's my comedy I wouldn't, hero. I would. <laughs> this is why, because he'll just take a chance that way and just try to courageous. He tries to alienate yeah. Yeah. a whole group of Asians. Yeah, are they? Are you guys considered Asian? Yeah, we are Asian. What are you talking about? I, I, I feel like I'm more Spanish. Ooh, no. I, feel, I don't know why. I feel like I feel you're more like, Indian, if anything. Ish. No, I think uh, guys, guys, I'm. Not gonna come. How about you tell us what you are? <laughs> <Stop> guessing? <laughs> it's very, very diverse. I yeah, mean, yeah. It, I it mean, is. you just can't. I mean, di- I mean, sometimes you look at me and then you feel like, oh, this is Indonesian. And then there's other Indonesian, you'd be like, you're an Indonesian too? Because we, yeah. I mean, the way we look, it's almost like here in New York, we're very diverse, even in the way you look. When you enter a train, it's very diverse. You can see it, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Indonesia is like that too. Jakarta Southeast is like Asia? That too. Southeast Asia. Southeast yeah, Asia, yeah, okay. My guy. Okay. So he knows. <laughs> since you've been here, can I, let me ask you a question. It, it, I feel like it's been a wild time since you got to New York. I'm uh-huh. going to blame everything that's happened in New York on Ponchi. <laughs> Why? Why? I don't know. I just feel like it's his fault. <laughs> <laughs> is this happening in, oh, you're talking about with the recent like subway shit? How do you, I, oh, oh, it my, is how, crazy. How do, you, how do you feel about that? Was that like a walk in the park for you? Last that, night. <laughs> was that a walk uh, in what, the park? The, the shooting. When was this? Two days ago? Like two, two days, days ago. Yeah. Think, right? And last night I was on the seven train. And For people that don't know, by the way, there oh, was yeah. a, a I mean, shooting in uh, Brooklyn, New York, uh, on the subway. Um, nobody, as of right now, no deaths. But a guy went on the train, lit a smoke bomb, shot into the crowd, mm. hit ten people. Train came to the stop. They couldn't find him. They actually found him. Yeah, they caught uh, him. Do you know where they found him? At a bodega. Is it? <laughs> do you know where the bodega was? <laughs> Two blocks away. Two blocks away. Really? Yeah. Two blocks away. Panji. He was om- just from here? Yeah. Panji, we almost <laughs> booked you yesterday. <laughs> and honestly, I haven't met you yet, but I was going to ask you, can you stop at the bodega and get me a sandwich? <laughs> Happy I didn't. <laughs> you were going to have a guest killed, dude? Yeah. I didn't know. Pretty hey, much. man. Just so you could get a sandwich. Just for a sandwich, bro? Just so you get a sandwich. I didn't know. It's the colonizer He came to huh? the country to be free. Yeah. This man wants him to bring him a sandwich. But Panji, <laughs> you, uh, you came to New York, and on the second or first trip, Excuse me. Did you do uh, Kevin's podcast, The Mac Almanac? I think it was the first. Uh, when, when was this? February? When we yes. did it? Yeah, yes. That was, yeah. that was, that that was uh, actually my was first. That, like is, that, views. is that the first time you've ever done a uh, podcast? Yeah. Yeah. Here. Really? I mean, here. And uh, just, oh, you've done podcasts before, but yeah, in I have America, my own podcast, that was your yeah. first podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you do have your own podcast. Yeah. But oh. it's just me rambling. It's just me by it's myself. It's just you to the camera. He's Those are the he, best. No times. cameras. No. Nope. Just, <laughs> just <laughs> audio. Just audio. No yeah. camera. Yo, first of all, DC, DC, what? don't laugh at our guest like that. <laughs> <laughs> DC, <laughs> that's wrong. To, I thought he was about to get <laughs> more better and be like, no, no audio recordings either. <laughs> like, who sees it? I do my podcast live. Like, all right, bro. <laughs> Different yeah. shit, though. That's cool. But yeah, that was actually yeah. my first. Oh, nice. Doing a. Uh, they gave me my first break. They they kept telling me <laughs> they kept telling me they kept telling me that they gave me my career. Yeah, yeah. yeah Josh and Kevin. Uh, if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be here. That's what that's what Kevin said. 
<laughs> I'm new here, right? That so I'll just. <laughs> I roll with it. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, to any comics, to any comics with over a million followers, if you want to get blown and put on the map, go on Mac Almanac. Bro. You already know. Get that stamp of approval. <laughs> so, Panji, um, I'm gonna tell you something that you don't know. Mm. You made Kevin's career. <laughs> nice. nice. But it is true. He is nice. the third most famous comic in Indonesia now. <laughs> Wait, you're famous? I'm really like, famous in Indonesia. Second is Josh, I think. Second is Josh. Josh Possibly. Yeah. I don't know. They really love me killing Josh, homeless. Josh? You know, you know what's, you hold, on, hold on, hold on. They, they love that I, I, I love okay. the fact that homeless people... I don't love the fact that homeless people are getting killed, but I made a bit about it Did like on the pod. Weird. And they just keep... Indonesian people loved it. They love it. They love like, it. This guy yeah. is insane. <laughs> just to put it into perspective, the Will Smith and Chris Rock thing, most Indonesian are on Will Smith's side. <laughs> really? That's how, that's that's right. how messed that's up. That's right. And let me tell you something. You're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> to, to my followers, I want to let you know right now in Indonesia, you're wrong. Just Guys, I want to let you know before I say fame. this, I'm pandering. You're right. <laughs> oh, you're right. No, I think it's also funny because uh, you think Indonesians are like, like racist because uh, Chris Rock is dark. They're like, yes, he should be slapped or something. <laughs> That's what it is. I know they are over there in Asia. <laughs> they're like, yes, slap him for our wives, but multiple wives. But you know what? All though? of our wives. In, and probably in their eyes, Will Smith is like a god to them. Like they probably seen course, way more bro, movies bro. about what. No one watches bro, a Chris famous. Rock movie in Indonesia. Yeah, it's true. No, really? Really? But people no. overseas yeah. know Will Chris Smith Rock. Is way more famous. Who'd you people overseas know? But he is. He is one hundred percent. He's, 100%. He is. he's yeah, in yeah, Japan he and shit. Who'd you grow up like watching? Like, who's like, like if you say like top five most famous? Will Smith, man. He was really? here actually. Yeah, Bad Boys is well, one of my y'all. favorite movie of all time. Bad Boys and Independence yeah. Day. You Yo, don't think I do my research I, being the third most I, famous <laughs> comic in Indonesia? This. I keep saying this, and I think it's a great idea. I think Chris Rock and Will Smith should do Bad Boys for it. Tell actually, me that, that would be fire. Idea. That would be, that would be a that good would be idea. fire. Hey, yo, you take it, you take it away. You just, fire, you just made bro. you just made a, a, a million Indonesians just like what? <laughs> bad boys four? <laughs> is bro, that, that a thing? Fire, bro. That would be amazing. Yo, why are you that taking away a job for Martin Lawrence? What the fuck <laughs> he do? <laughs> but but Martin oh, look like you know what Martin should do? He gets promoted. Yeah, to the captain. To the captain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that's awesome. Will Smith gets demoted. Bro, call Michael no, 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 Bay. In the movie, he, he call Michael out. Bay. He does Somebody call Michael Bay. They kick him out. No, no, he's no, no. about to retire. He's about to retire, and he's sick of this shit. He's sick and, of this shit. And in the yeah, movie, yeah, yeah. Chris Rock and Wilson don't really get along that wait, well. Wait, also, in the movie, him and Martin get into a fight, and he goes, man, y'all, you just want to go back home to your wife. He goes, what did you say? <laughs> <laughs> and it, Keep my wife's name <laughs> out your fucking mouth! Thanks for bringing it full I circle. Think, <laughs> I really think that Chris Rock should fuck Will Smith's wife wow. in oh, that movie. Shoot, and she just so happens to have alopecia. Oh my God, bro. He, like, just, just take oh his my cop God. and just slap it on the top of a bald head. That's what I think she should do. And then, and then you hear, bad boys, bad boys, <laughs> what, what you gonna, gonna do? do? What you gonna do <laughs> when the bro. cop's on you? Dude. Wow, he really had to go there, saw, son. We're it. supposed to do shows out of town together, dude. You're, hey, you're can, I, can, I, can I keep it 100, though? Can I keep it 100, though? I'm this doing guy. this for my Indonesian dude. fans. Wow. I'm doing, they it's, like wild Kev. They like crazy, crazy Kev. Crazy I got to give it to them. Wait, Panja, do you insane, uh, do you bro. think uh, the Indonesian, like the comedy fans, the more darker comedy? Um, We don't mean race. <laughs> but there is, a, there is a surge of Indonesian who are into it recently. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so much as they keep asking, hey, do you have dark jokes? Do you have dark Spongy? Do you oh, have dark jokes? I was like, oh, man, come on, man. I'm about to go to Panji, I'm about to- let me DC write for you. I'm about to go to Indonesia, man. <laughs> we'll get you also <laughs> Aka Kasood almost immediately. <laughs> how many, yo, how many spots do you think I could do when I go to Indonesia? I could do a tour. I could do like a low-key. Yo, yeah, this yeah, guy. Yeah, for sure. For right? Sure. <laughs> the, the, By the way, yo, we're all ready. Panji hasn't been here 10 minutes. He's already asking no, no, for spots. No, no. <laughs> so, I've been hearing comics go overseas to some place, and they're like, yeah, but I did an hour over there. I'm just like... All right, in fucking like you know Delhi I, or you know, something like that. You're just like, I tell you something, bro. Hilarious is uh, this is what I love about DC. Yeah, is um, Panji. I don't know if you ever felt this. Um, uh, do you have like you have? Com- I'm sure you have comedy friends in Indonesia, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, do you have any that are just so arrogantly confident? <laughs> they say things, and you're just like, you know what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's talking about I himself, wish, though. That's the uh, crazy part. <laughs> I wish that I had the power and the size <laughs> to just sell out Madison, Madison Square Garden uh-huh. and go, hey, man, go, go do an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and watch him flop like a goddamn <laughs> fish. <laughs> Derek is at the house earlier. Derek Gaines, and, he, and he, I go, you want to spot a black ass? He goes, mm, yeah. I go, you want five minutes? He goes, yeah, 10. I go, nope, I'm done. <laughs> 
Do you? He was on the phone though. He didn't hear me. I know, but like this man. <laughs> earlier, we were talking about spots in uh, New York versus in Indonesia, and he goes, "Yeah, you know, here you can do like three spots a night. Yeah. Versus Indonesia, you do three spots a week. Yeah." DC just hears spots and goes, you think you can get me up? You think you can get me up? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm asking you what is an American New York comic going over the chances of getting up are. That's really what I'm 100%. asking you. Oh, if any, I think any outsider going to Indonesia can walk into a comedy club and be like, hey, I have a couple of things. I, I think so, yeah. I yeah. Are there comedy clubs here? In Jakarta, in Jakarta, in the whole nation, there's only one. one. Yeah, there's only exactly. It's called so. Katawa Comedy Club. Shout out so, to Mo. Mo I'm going to try to say all that right now. So if I go there, they're like Eddie Murphy. We're putting you up every night. <laughs> 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 oh my god, yes, funny, 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 funny. <laughs> bro. By the way, bro. by the way, I know you made that joke. His fans still don't know that you're not Eddie Murphy. <laughs> <laughs> they're at this point. They're fucking confused. I told uh, I told Josh and Kevin in Indonesia, a lot of people know them. More than they know Seinfeld. I'm it's true. I believe that. I believe yeah, that. Yeah, it's true. It's true. That's all. Big, but look, when I, I ask people, who's, do you know who? Uh, do you know who Ari Shafir is by chance? I do. So you know, you so you you, uh, you're, I'm, you say you listen to Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ari's one of those comedians that here that will showcase other comedians. He went on Joe Rogan and did basically an ad spot and goes, "Hey, wait, before we move on, I have three comedians I need to tell you about." And did like an ad sales oh, wow. on Joe Rogan for Respect. three com- for three comedians. Respect. Mm. I hope you, I hope you understand like that like what I mean like when I'm joking around like I hope I can give him everything. That's kind of what you did. You're like if you can make someone bigger than Seinfeld in the country, <laughs> Panji, take my money. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Like like do you ever feel like so you obviously go back there to do comedy. You said you have nine specials out. That's nine hours of yeah. comedy. You got right? Nine specials? Yes, I do. You didn't know this. You never asked. I didn't care to ask, I, but I, no, I, no, damn. You saw, you saw, I, just, I just saw a broken hearted panchi. <laughs> I no, didn't no, say no. broken heart. I assume, I assume no. you had three. No, oh, I have nine. Nine yeah. specials. The ninth one is actually is this year. Okay. Oh, Panji, you just said nine hours, and your your podcast is just talking to not sorry, not to camera, to Mike. This yeah, 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 yeah. George Carlin of yeah, like that yeah, Indonesia. Do you understand? Yeah. Like, there's comedians that I know now that've been doing comedy for maybe seven years. Let's just say seven years. Who've, I, I think I've heard five, seven minutes of them. Like you said it before, like there's people out there that have seven minutes of their stand up. That's as far as they ever go. Okay. Fix DC's mic. Fix DC's mic. Uh, is that? But it can always <laughs> have I, Bro, I there don't you know, you know who does that. It happens. But you know, do you have any friends who I don't are know children? Some of these mics, bro. <laughs> Pansy, next question. Any friends who are legit children that are trying Yo, Nat, I think, we gotta, I think we gotta change the mics over here. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not just you. People love to manhandle them and they just can't be manhandled. Okay. Whoa, what do you mean you people, Nat? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Man, whoa. I didn't say you people. I meant oh, people. I got no, big ass hands, bro. I get it. It's okay. Pansy's here. He's feeling a little outnumbered. I get it. No. Oh, but um, Panji is like I. Th- I hope you know that there's like, gra- like, that's awesome. Like dead ass, that's awesome. Like there's everyone here. The people who make it are the people that go. Oh yeah, I have, I have all of this. Let's everyone eat. Let's everyone do stuff. The people that you meet in New York City that have like run shows who have like a weird system of like, oh no, you need to like kind of kiss my ass to get around here. Mm. Th- their ceiling is yeah. it's right. It's right fucking there. So. That's why I pr- I think I almost like I I appreciate you not only coming to New York but taking on New York. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. a huge thing to have eight hours of content. But you said the new one's coming out, so that's eight hours of specials, podcasts. Come to New York and go. Let's do it again. Yeah, that's insane. That is exactly. That, like, I, 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 even people watching, like I don't think you understand. Like people say, comedy takes courage. Yeah. yeah. I don't know if I could go <laughs> eight specials in and be like. No, bro. I'm gonna go to a different continent. We, another, gonna... yeah. another continent. Mm-hmm. That's insane, Panji. That's insane, dude. Seriously, congratulations. Yeah, That's but uh, it's awesome, all because uh, Josh and Kevin, because they made yeah, my career. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doped up comedy tour in Indonesia, man. You yeah. guys. Oh, know, stop it! You're already you're out oh, there, bro. You know. Go get you tickets know now. <laughs> how how long is the flight? It's a 23 to 24 hour flight. That's that's too long. I'm staying. <laughs> <laughs> so Indonesian people, if you fuck with us, we will not pay for a ticket. You Come fly, here. You fly first class? No, man. You I don't, don't fly have, first class? No, nah, man. I don't even take business class. Wow. <laughs> Economic only. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm, I know I'm going to be doing this back and forth mm. several times. You okay. know, just I just want to be what, get when efficient. You're, when you're sitting on those, like, dude, that's insane. Because for me, again, I came from Florida. That's a two and a half hour flight. Mm. Still a big move. Lived on my sister's couch. Did all that. 
sitting on a flight for 23 and a half hours, 24. In a back and forth. 24. Yeah, back yeah. and forth. So wait, wait, one way is like 14, right? No. What? One way is 24. 24 hours. No <laughs> way. Yeah. And a layover for sure. But yeah, it, it do you understand the layover. mental of like sitting on that flight and kind of going like, did I just fuck up my yeah. life? Yeah. Did I just, did I, I just, I, uh, do you ever have a moment you're sitting on that plane and you go, I do. what the fuck am I doing? I do. You know how hard it is doing my, but <clears throat> to begin with, um, I know I said eight to nine specials out, but when I move here, it's very different. Mm-hmm. Kevin doesn't believe me when I say it's different. Even the 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 tempo of it, because it's too the nice. rhythm, the rhythm of it yeah, is yeah. different. And so much stand up. Yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's it's hard doing it here. And then you know, I said I said I do three mics a day, and then you know, after two weeks and three weeks in bombing for so many times, yeah, yeah. I start to feel like, oh, feel like what am I doing mm-hmm. here? And I'm planning to bring my family, my kids. And I was like, is this the right thing to do? But, you know, I just... Better start killing first. (laughs) (laughs) Ah, Yeah, you're right. Better start making money. (laughs) Bring your family to see you bomb. (laughs) Don't do that, bro. Uh, I I wonder if Indonesians are familiar with what a bomb is. A bomb also is when a comedian doesn't do well. And not only... Why why it hurts is you get off stage and you go, what the fuck am I doing? You have to live in that room for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, like, as, like... New York City comedians, you kind of have that inside joke of, all right, let's see if they stay. Let's see, if, like, do they oh, do they just say hi, say say bye to nobody, go right home? Panji has to get on a twenty four hour flight. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it's like to bomb and get on a twenty four hour flight. I don't. But that's I flew all over the entire way. flight. He's just like. <laughs> That's like, how he I wrote so many new jokes. That's how he wrote so many specials though. <laughs> <laughs> on those 23 hour flights. Are you writing most of the time? I write every day. Yeah. Wow, nice. No, I'm saying nice. during the flight, is, are you writing most of the time on that? No, flight? sometimes I write a joke. Sometimes, uh, sometimes I thought about a joke on the flight. You force yourself to write? I force myself. I, I, you know, this Seinfeld chain. You know that thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I read about it, and then I, I thought about. Explain it for anyone who doesn't. Um, well, Seinfeld chain is. Uh, so Seinfeld has this calendar in his office where uh, you know. The calendar, the type of calendar that has all the dates. And Do then, nothing. Get coffee. <laughs> and then give me a new car. <laughs> <laughs> what are the Lakers doing? <laughs> it doesn't sound like that. <laughs> but uh, you know, fuck a thirteen-year-old. <laughs> Is that better? Is that one better for you, Panji? She was seventeen. Remember when Seinfeld <laughs> fucked and married a thirteen-year-old? Well, that's not, seventeen. That's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> and also, she had big titties. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so every time he write a joke today, he he crossed that date, and then tomorrow, and then he crossed that date, and then after a while, he felt like he didn't want to, you know, break the chain, and so he writes every day, and that's what I've been doing. I write every day too. Mm-hmm. Not all of them are. But he says funny. he performs the material for about ten years though. Yeah, it's he funny, right? Yeah, yeah. I heard a story yeah. recently. I think I, I don't know if I said it on the podcast, um, but uh, I heard a story recently about how Chris Rock, when he was at the cellar. You know those on um, like the the notepads, like the ones mm-hmm. that had to have the backing with like the little piece of like almost yeah. uh, cardboard on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He would just sit there and write through all of them, mm-hmm. rip out the pages, go through them, and then write the te- t- like bullet points, top ten jokes of all the pages. Do that twice, have two pieces of basically cardboard mm-hmm. with just bullet points, mm-hmm. and that's what was his, that, that was his set that night. And oh, that's wow. what he said at the Oscars. Cause he, really, <laughs> it was, it was got to the back it, party. It was weird. After all of that work, the best joke he was like underlines like G I Jane, G I Jane. It's so funny. It keeps killing. It, I, I like how you're. Uh, I like how Indonesian Who? people are going right immediately behind uh, Will Smith. They're like, no, no, no. He's like, I woke they... up and saw the Will Smith slap was on Will Smith's side. Saw all of comedy was on Chris Chris Rock side, and I was like, I mean. I mean, I'm going to silently be on Will Smith's. You are on Will Smith's side? I think it's uh, in Indonesia, it's cultural. Hold on, I want to hear this bitch ass say this shit. Call it about. It's called it about. Hold on, I want to hear this. I want to hear. I You're not letting him go away with it. <laughs> Kev? It's not. One, he should get rid of Jada. She, she for the streets. Get rid of her. Mm-hmm. But with all the memes on the internet, I think that was Will Smith saying, like, hey, guys, if I see you in the streets, that could be you. Hey, don't up and die. Like, that could be you. Don't up and dying. You heard it here first. Uh-huh. Dylan's going to snap one day. <laughs> Stop making those fucking jokes on those comments. He's going to slap one of you. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I'll absolutely. By the way, by the way, saying it right now, I'll fight a fan. Hey, don't put that out there. Mm-hmm. That's the that's the worst move you could do, mm-hmm. guys. Because a couple of fans I might want to fight you. <laughs> might not fight a fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not here to fight nobody. nobody. I want to know. Hey, happen this, happen this, happen this. When I say fight, I don't mean fight. I mean talk shit 
to a point Kevin's instincts kick in. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm dead, dead serious, Pangy. When I'm with him, I go, I can talk all the shit I want. Because well, at one point, the him. army's going to kick in. And I'm like like a, like a pit bull. It's got let off the leash. I'll be like, I'm just going to stand over here. Yo, man, Kevin's really a violent cool. man. You yeah. don't know about Kev? He says that. I, I, I heard several stories. No, he's, not a violent, he's not a violent man. He's a sleeper soldier. <laughs> he's a sleeper no, soldier. A bit, yeah. Kevin? Well, Kevin? Yeah. <laughs> Kev, Kevin was critiquing the ability. That man's ability. You know the guy that this shit that happened on the train? Yeah. Kevin was like, he was critiquing that shit because he was like, yo, that's some military shit. Like, that was like, the guy had superb, superb aim. He shot through the smoke. And Kevin Kevin was like giving him a round of applause for that shit. So He had aim. He didn't hit. He didn't kill anyone. Exactly. Well, you know how hard it is to shoot someone in the leg as a regular person? You have to always but aim for the widest Natalie, part of the body. Natalie, Natalie, he was so good. He, he was found so all the parts on the bodies ex- that were non-lethal. That's what I'm saying. He shot people in the legs. The side he he shot so you people. think Guys, he did that on purpose? Yes. He wanted to make a statement. He didn't want to kill. Because Why did you this because I I'm, I'm trying to help you because the conspiracy on a hill that I don't want to die on because it's not real and it was a st- okay. Cut right. his mic. Cut his mic. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Pangy, nobody tried died. to hide that As, that guy. As our he wasn't guest, even hiding that he wasn't. Yeah. And what, he was carrying around. A co- How do you do that though? How do you that I think old? You, to get you drop a smoke bomb like it's fucking Gotham City and then you shoot through it. That's military shit. Wanted, bro. By the way, he wanted to get caught. T- it's not I military. Feel like that's military shit. Can I say something? It's not military. It is. I'm telling you something. It is. Hey, hey, buddy. Buddy. It is. Buddy. How do you know? Buddy, dude, one thousand percent wrong. Let me I've tell you why. You, I, wait, hold on, hold on. Let him rebuttal. You, wait, let, him rebuttal. To, let me give him the rebuttal. I'm trying to. Tell I didn't him. say anything. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. You, you, you just, just keep you talking. Just talking. Look, look, no, I'm gonna tell you. I've known you for like three or four years, and you've been in the military. So, <laughs> that's why I know his mic is so, out. Um, the reason why it's not some military shit because one, how do you miss an? An enclosed train. Exactly. The, right? the gun like, jam. Exactly. The gun, the gun jam. jammed. Yeah, the gun jammed. You know who doesn't let a gun jam? Military. Military. Uh, but but you know why? It's kicking in. You know why? It's uh-huh. in. Because you cleaned the gun before it happens. Right. Before you get there, he's just a crazy person. Way, you see what I way. mean? He was critiquing it. Stop. Yeah. Stop. <laughs> by the way, this Jason Bourne. Of- exactly. <laughs> by the way, it, it, it did make a point. You were <laughs> he proved my point. By the way, you see guys right there, man. I hate dying on this hill. His OG point is he was gonna critique the guy. I, did. <laughs> I just thought he could have been more efficient. <laughs> you know what I mean? I just thought I was like, I was saying he could be more I didn't efficient. Want to say it. I didn't, I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to say it. But I was like, yo, I saw like 45 people run out of there and only seven crawl. So You're like, buddy, buddy, buddy. 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 <laughs> How many shots did he take? I think I, ten, I mean, ten. Ten. Oh shot. no, wait, I think it's ten. I think it's ten people hit, mm-hmm. but I know the gun jammed. I think it was a. Uh, I think there was multiple mm. ex, uh, clips on him, but yeah, like once a gun jams, you're kind of like, yeah, I'm in uh, the heat of it. I'm in the heat also, of it. I don't know what's true or what's not true. Cause I heard he had explosives that didn't detonate. I heard. Mm. Is that true? I heard he threw a smoke bomb. That's what I heard. Or tear uh, gas. Or or, or, I think. I think the it's. I think when they say explosives, like a. Like a, a firework almost, like a, like a popper. Were you guys scared? Is that an ex- that's an explosive? Was I scared? Were you guys scared on the train? I was. I didn't go on the train. Yeah, I, I, go, I took oh, the train that morning. I, I, to I, work. Actually, I, I, I took the train that morning too. After yeah, it happened, and yeah. I didn't realize until I got to work. Mm-hmm. Me and Tom were supposed to go uptown, and when we put it, uh, when we were like, "Well, the D connects to the." Uh, let's take your car. Hey, buddy, you know what's crazy? Hmm. Today I was on a train, mm-hmm. and it was in Delancey. I have a video of this guy aggressively masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> all the way at the end of the platform. And all I kept thinking was like, why couldn't somebody put a 9 millimeter shoot him in the head right there? <laughs> now, Indonesian is going to like this one. So this you... part of the, this part of the pod. By the way, by the way, not, not, only, people, not only is Kev critiquing the guy's abilities, he's critiquing the people he's, he's shooting at. Shoot he's like... Panji, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh how do you... Uh, how do you feel about New York comedy itself? Like, do you um, are you going to other shows like um headliner shows and like, kind of seeing the vibes of the crowds? Like, I haven't watched any comedy shows because I, all I do is do you're working, mics. you're yeah. working. Um, but I feel like uh, generally, I think New Yorkers don't like to smile. Is it is this true? New York, yeah, we we like, to, it's, you like to, it's hard Pangy, to make you laugh. Pangy, Pangy. Can I, even at eight thirty in the morning, where we all want to kill ourselves, and we all look at each other like, "I want to die, I want to kill you with me," and I do start shooting, you go, "All right, what, what the fuck is going on?" And, and that like, barely right, moved like, us. That exactly. barely moved us because we're we're so overwhelmed with entertainment and stimuli. Like, dude, you could get on train eight in the morning, and somebody's trying to give you showtime. 
Someone's always trying to, you know what I mean? Like we're yeah, yeah, yeah. people locals sit down like you better be funny. You bet, you know what I mean? Like they want to make me, make me. You know what you I know, mean? New York is like that. You know how on the train there are people that likes to swing on <laughs> Showtime on, people. Showtime. Yeah, 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 yeah. It means like oh, even yeah. on a train. Like also for the people who don't know, when you get on a train in New York City, most of the time, depending on where it's going, mm -hmm. people will come on with a boombox, start playing music, mm -hmm. and will jump through the tiny little part that you hold mm -hmm. your hand. Will start jumping through that with their bodies. And then do that for like three minutes, and they like. Oh, and I felt like I I think that this is an amazing thing to do. It's hood but gymnastics. Everybody else on the train was like, they were just on their cell phone. I was like, <laughs> are you see not it every day? We this? see it every day. Oh, by the this way, is Spider Man the way. on the train. Panji, Panji, uh, uh, you, uh, we are filming a man on the street bit with you. I just want you, you experiencing New York when it's just everyone on the train like. Wait, what's up, man? And he's just boom, tick, ah, boom, tick, yeah. Sometimes they rap too. Yeah. yeah. No one's seeing They'll this, sing, bro. They'll give you everything. Is, are you? Am I bro. a ghost? Touch me! Touch me! Touch me! Touch me! I'm a ghost? <laughs> no, not. Are you? Are you, sir? You are sir, sir no. Get off of me, sir! Get off of me! Is no one seeing him? <laughs> him walking into Krispy Kreme, they're just making a thousand donuts a second. Bro. What? <laughs> what? How about this? The Showtime shows are getting so cr It's it's becoming. It's it's gotten progressive now. It's even getting. It's even maybe even woke. This dude got on the train. Jordan one's on, bro. Jordan, I promise you, gets on the train. I know you're thinking, what does that have to do with the story, right? He does his thing. Hey, da da da. I'm not. You don't have to give me money. Da da da. Gets into it. Turns the music on. Takes his fucking Jordans off. Puts on six inch heels, maybe platforms. Get put shorts on and literally starts doing actual fucking pole dancing, bro. Oh shit. And me, <laughs> Where? Where? I'm staying. I, 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 I was on a train. This is on a train. This what, is like which, next which level. Which train? Which train? I'm, uh, I think what it location? had to have been... Where was it? Where's the video? <laughs> I didn't know. It had to have been the yeah. eight train going uptown because I believe that's where I was going Hans uptown at the going time. Bro, <laughs> that's listen, crazy. That's this, this, I'm standing there. The guy's standing across from me. We we both know we don't want to look at this shit. Right? <laughs> but we, so we're looking at each other and we're both... And he's he's making... He's kind of making a face but he has a mask on and he's looking at me and I'm just like... You should start licking your lips. <laughs> you know what? No, no. <laughs> I was trying not to laugh because at first people, at first people, people were laughing because they wouldn't know what to expect and this motherfucker goes in not Showtime style full on like drag? stripper pole. Yeah, like drag style shit and it oh, was... crazy. And apparently he, he must have killed it because they were tipping him. They were tipping him? Yeah, so people giving... Let me ask you a question. What street was he on? <laughs> I, I, I don't no, it was a train. I was on a train. Was it train. uptown or downtown? It was going uptown. It was uptown. Was it my up. brother? Is what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> my brother. First of all, don't ever disrespect my brother in that way. My brother owns his business. He, he's gonna oh be a millionaire. God. He owns a business called Tops and Bottom in Miami. By the way, so go get. By the way, his mentioning his brother is one of his sleeper soldier uh, tastes. <laughs> the the there's was I, there's a three, body. and that was one of them. I said the other two were all dead. Today, <laughs> today on the train, uh, something. Oh, I want to ask something. I'm sorry. I'm uh, don't ever cut me off like that again. <laughs> my fans in Indonesia. Do not appreciate that. The Can you settle down, you? sir? The fuck is wrong? Settle what down. Was <laughs> What's, comic here? What's the craziest thing you've seen on the train or on, on in New York so far? Uh, I mean, that's an insane question because it's you. Obviously, it's you. It, <laughs> he's like, well, "What's the insane person?" It's like I work with him now. <laughs> the most insane thing that happened didn't look insane, but it mm. gave me the creeps. I had to move to another train. I never do that. Not what with it. Oh, I always do that. Yeah, so there were three of us before, uh, just uh, just another passenger. And then two guys went in, very big, and then started to talk like they're like they're um, arguing, like they're about to fight. Yeah. And they have this gesture like they're about to grab yeah. something and shoot. And I have this, I have an, a, a Chinese person right in front of me. We looked at each other. I think at the next stop we're going to move. And then when we stop, we move to another train and let them be. And it looks like normal thing. It's not people swinging, but it scares the shit out of me. It's oh, very scary. It's yeah. like they're trying to shoot each other. What was the, what, <laughs> that's crazy? Yeah, what was the what was the like? Oh yeah, I'm in New York moment. Was it that or was it like another moment? No, fuck you, Paco. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, it was there like a moment that you were like, oh, I'm I'm in New York. Like I mean, New York is beautiful. So you know, walking there's always so much stimulate. Well, it, well, first off, do we know what Indonesians think about New York? Mm. Like, what did you think before you got here what New York was going to be like? Mm. Did you have any references? I feel like New York is 
the mecca of hip hop and stand up comedy. That's all, and basketball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Those three things. Facts, facts. And um, the Knicks would not agree with you, but I, I, I get what you're saying. <laughs> yeah, but everybody performed better when they play the Knicks. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is funny. true. That's that's right. 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 You, know, you got to say that. Shit. <laughs> you, know, you, know, you know that's a you know that's a conspiracy theory. That it, James Dolan doesn't want a good team because when you're here and you want to see another team do well, you're like, let's oh, go to the garden oh, and wow. see him shit on the That's Knicks. Crazy. So you always know you're going to see your team just I like that conspiracy. Fall like out. That. I like that. That's like a, it's it's kind a little, of a little conspiracy. Yeah, I, like I guess. I don't know. If that's true. <clears throat> <laughs> Give us the hot take. <laughs> if, hot that's, take. if that's true, the I, subway shooter should have been the Madison Square, <laughs> Square Garden shooter. Give us the hot take. I know a lot of military sleeper cells that need to come out the dope. <laughs> Kevin, what would, what would their co- what, what would their the, 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 the words be to wake them up? It's like <laughs> I can't reveal that. Shit. <laughs> he knows. Good answer. Okay. I, on, on that note, can we get into some plugs? Let's yes, some plugs. let's get some plugs in, baby. Get some plugs, baby boy. Uh, Panji, seriously, thank you so much for coming out. Yeah. Thank you so much for being here on the Dope My pleasure. Down. Welcome My pleasure. to Gas Digital It's going to take two seconds to get that music up. So, wait, wait. I w- uh, Actually, I'll put it in post. It's going to so take you long. Do your plugs. Let me ask you a question, bro. Oh, okay. Do your plugs, Panji. Oh, get the music, please. I'm not sending it my way. I got it. <laughs> okay. So, Panji, yeah. when, when you got to New York, I know you understand. Like, you, you, what was. You saw what was good about New York before you came here, uh-huh. right? But did anybody warn you, like, hey, you got to be careful about this, you got to be careful about oh, that? Oh, I, I did my own research. I know how hard it is. I know how scary it were is Were you scared times. you were going to develop a crack addict? Uh, <laughs> addict no. Addiction? I don't even smoke weed, man. Smoke weed? <laughs> no. Like, when you see the meth heads on 44th and 8th, right, do you go, that's pretty cool. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't know what a meth head would look like. Oh, man. To me, everybody looks like a homeless person. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I can't tell Yo, the, the way, difference. By the way, that is something that happens when you first move to New York. <laughs> Panji's still at that stage where he sees every homeless person and goes, Man, they just had a rough time in their life. They it's just, true. They made a, they made a couple true. bad decisions. I Maybe they, a job let them off and they're just getting off their feet. That other guy's like, I love my life. I love <laughs> it. <laughs> Heroin. Yeah, but it, yeah. Oh Thank shit! You. you know what that sound is? Thank no. you. That's a that plug means we have to plug music. I want you to plug whatever social media you have, not the or oh, okay. YouTube, everything. All right, my YouTube. Uh, Tell I have people a, where to find you. All right, you can find me on Instagram, Panji I know it's mouthful. Let uh, it yeah, just Panji, just Panji. You'll find me on the top. <laughs> Uh, YouTube, I have a YouTube channel. Uh, I have a podcast, but it's in Bahasa Indonesia, so I wouldn't bother. So just, yeah, Instagram and YouTube, Panji Pragi Waxo, that's where you find me. Yeah, let's go. And and for the third most famous comedian in Indonesia, Kevin Sanchez. Hey, you guys already follow me, but follow me again. Follow, get your cousin to follow me. ITS Kevin Sanchez, Papa Sanchez on Twitter, uh, and the new Bad Scouts podcast of Josh Pallet. Bad Scouts? Yeah. Bad oh, Scouts. that's the name now? Yeah. By oh, the cool. way, by the way, I made fun of his. He told me the name. I made fun of it. Then he told me that name. And it's the first time I'm hearing of it. Good name. I good approve. name. I like it. Bad Scouts. That's a really good name. I like Thank it. You. Check out Kevin Sanchez. DC Williams, tell me where to find you. What's up, guys? You can follow me on everything at DC Does It and um, on Instagram. And uh, yeah, every Friday we got uh, Not the Apollo Comedy Show and some more things going on. So, you know. Stay tuned, and um, yeah, this is DC Williams on uh, 95.5. I got one more plug. I got one more plug. Please. Uh, We have a show at the Soho Playhouse. My mom, Dylan J. Necker, is going to be on it. Uh, Josh Pal is going to be on it. Second most famous comic in Indonesia. You got to come through. Um, And uh, I'm co-producing it with Naomi Eden. It's going to be a good time, and I'm going to book everybody that's in this room. Uh, Hey, Are are we going to have a show together on the 23rd? (laughs) Are you are you on that show too? No, uh, I think so. At the producers' club. At the producers' yeah, club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Natalie, let me use it back. Let me put my stuff. And now we got the D way to the shit. <laughs> Dylan J Negri. <laughs> Guys, it's Young Dill. What's up? Go follow me at Dylan J Negri. Instagram, YouTube, all that stuff. Oh, actually, no, just Instagram now. On YouTube, it's only Doped Up Podcast. Mm-hmm. Go to Doped Up and Dying Podcast on YouTube. Anywhere you find podcasts, we're on there. Please follow us. Rate us five stars. It means a lot. And subscribe. Or if you're listening to this, you could probably make it that we get a thousand more subscribers or to a thousand. That means so much for this podcast. Please, we've been working so much. We're in a beautiful studio. 
Give us some beautiful life and uh, please support uh, comedy in New York City. Mm -hmm. Go see, uh, if you want to see my comedy dates, go to dylancomedy.com. All my dates are on there. You can see all my other stuff over there. And again, follow me on Instagram at Dylan J. Negri. Now, let's get back to the show. You better laugh, bitch. Hey, I like that. <laughs> can, we, can we use that as a... Uh, That's our first drop. You, as better a drop. you better laugh, bitch. You better laugh, bitch. <laughs> Sorry to ruck his voice off. I, uh, I was on a train today. And I love this. I love this city sometimes. So <laughs> this like obvious just became gay. Not just became gay, but just became gay in New York. And excited. You obvious. understand what I'm saying? It's, it's, like, it's, it's his first day out. <laughs> like, no, it's not his first day out, but it's his first day with this much freedom being gay. Okay. Right? At least the first three months. He's been here for three months. He doesn't know how to handle it. He's on poppers and coke and everything <laughs> else in the sun. <laughs> Right? He's walking down the street just sucking he dick. Walks, you're like, he's walks, he's moving at a speed faster than me and sucking dick. No, so he walks into the train through the car doors. I'm like, he looks kind of fly, but kind of homeless, just like Panji was describing. <laughs> you don't know and, if he's fly or homeless? Yeah, I don't know if he's fly or homeless. That's our new game. Fly or homeless. Fly or fly homeless. homeless. Fly there we go. Homeless. There we go. I'm going to start taking pictures of people masturbating. Anyway, he comes on the train and he goes, I, th I feel like he's a folder <laughs> in his phone. Of call, labeled a homeless masturbators. And it's, like, it's like 300 photos. Like it's, like, a, it's an insane amount. <laughs> so he comes in and he goes, guys, I need money. And then he lifts his shirt for no reason. I have no idea why he lifts his shirt. Great body. By the way, before you oh, keep going with the story, really? I'm going to make a guess. Yeah. Still fly. Okay. Homeless? <laughs> okay. So he goes, I need some money. It's, it was a wild weekend. <laughs> that is great. And then, and then he, said, he said that? He walks by yes. He walks by me and he goes, Dick suck? I swear oh, to God. Oh, oh Dick suck? To completion? Walks, to completion. To completion. Walks by, walks by. I'm like, did I hear that shit right? And he turns around and he goes, <laughs> Wait, you said it out loud, did I hear that shit yeah. right? <laughs> And he was like, potential customer? <laughs> potential customer? Yo, to completion. Yeah. To completion well, he said, to By the way, that's well, confidence. That's like when someone comes no. in like, like, yo, man, can I do your show? I'll kill. It's like, <laughs> what? I'll maybe let you get on. Oh, my God. But don't say you're going to kill. Nah, he didn't say to completion. He said, you want to get drained? Like, no way. Yeah, that's really what he said. That's what he got. He goes, you want to get drained? By the way, the more he keeps telling us what really he was <laughs> said, he was like, so when drained. I was getting my dick sucked, he yeah, was yeah. like, you want to get drained <laughs> all over my face? And I was like, whoa. And then I, he came to me and he... He Unbuckle my pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm kidding. Well, <laughs> he came to my dad. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. That is crazy. No, no, but it was it was just it's just so wild right now. What did uh, he do? Was, he walked up to you, bro. I want you to finish this. No, no, he, no, no, he left. Did you finish oh, him? He left. He, okay. he walked. Sorry. <laughs> you, you, you let did me, somebody you get me up there? Cock sucks. Uh, we were. You know what's crazy is that we were uptown. Uh, so I was scared for his life because. Why? Well, it was it was in a neighborhood where. If you're gay, you better be a cousin. Nobody, you understand what I'm saying? You better be a sibling. It's not about robbing okay. gay people. It's about he's walking around. Going, he's walking around. Do you want to get drained? Yeah. Like this. It was. Oh, a, yeah. it, so. <laughs> well, it was. It was the four train. And this, by the way, that's the east side, bro. Kevin's just mad. He's just. He's more just upset. That he's like, I couldn't partake in this dick suck. <laughs> I'm very upset that no. I wasn't in the parameters. I was, yes, he was, was upset sucking. he didn't catch a video of him masturbating. That's what he was upset about. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, damn, he could at least did that. But, yeah, I'm starting a new that, OnlyFans, like, and it's too. all homeless people masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, that's what I'm doing. I Bum bet, fights after dark. Yeah. You think you had a twenty? <laughs> It's insane, it's bro. So, <laughs> million dollar idea. Carrie Feehan, look out, bitch. Who would have thought? There's a better comedy things like that. If Him. you like dudes with scabs and soft God, penises, this, this is soft. <laughs> the oh, penis I, Check out his OnlyFans. Let me tell you something. That penis I saw today what? was incredible. What? Yo, bro, it was legit. Like it was. It was the, the size way, of this. By the way, by the way, can I say something? Can I say something? Oh, I, I didn't There's, stop looking. I've watched them for ten There's minutes. Some, by the way, because you know like, when they build Greek statues, the penises are like right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's something to be said about penis size and success. <laughs> what? Every time I see a homeless dick. That's huge. Shit's huge, bro. Uh, but it's how enormous. Can I tell you something? How though? Uh, so you're kind That's of right. Funny. You're almost right. Don't do this when you talk to me. You're almost. <laughs> show me dick size. I just. What the fuck was that? I just wanted to you're show you. He just goes. You're almost right. You're almost right. You're almost right. You're almost right. I wanted you're to. Almost I wanted, right. Hold on, hold on. You, hey, you, hey, you're almost right, buddy, buddy. Dylan, you're almost. Dylan, right. I wanted. I wanted. To, I wanted to show you. 
<laughs> I wanted to show you what a Greek cock looks like, right? <laughs> a Greek cock. A Greek cock. <laughs> but I'm letting you know that that Greek cock is not necessarily what, what a he, Greek cock actually is. It's a they thought size. they thought that uh, the sm- they thought like you, the smaller the penis, the smarter you were, right? They did, of, they really of did. Of course, the ruling race would yeah. say that. Yeah. That's something. Yeah. That I, I can't high five. And then and then these <laughs> big cock. Uh, uh, well, these whores. Uh, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was along with the Oh, a girl named. Uh, oh, I can't. Ooh, a whore. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of <laughs> Instagram, th- yo, well, is do they are there a lot of Instagram chicks in in Indonesia? Yeah, a it's lot a of lot, them. right? A lot of them gorgeous. Like, They're like popping that too. Like that chick. Because they do a lot of pageants. You know what that is? No. That Natalie, pull up a thought. Pangilla. Oh, just a thought in general? Just put up. In general? Oh, yes, pull up who you think is a thought. No, I just meant like Google thought, Google thought, Google thought. Google the meaning and then give us the images. Oh, okay, okay. And then give us the images as well. Pangilla, Aku, Pelicure. What does that mean? What does that mean? Call me whores. Call me whores. Yeah, call uh, me. Call Pangi- me. Oh, panggil Pangil? aku, aku? Placur. 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 Penjil aku pacil. But uh, the, the slang word is perek. 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 bitch. Perek. What is that? You also, perek. By the, by the way, bitch. Yeah. No, no, no. Perek. Bitch and whore. I, w- I want to. I wanna... Placur is whore. Oh. Uh, perek is bitch. Die. We also call girls perek. It's perek. A woman who casually. As many casual sexual characters are relationships. Oh, okay. Can you say that one more time so people can understand you? A DC. woman thought, a woman who has, oh, sorry, derogatory informal, a woman who has many casual sexual encounters or relationships. Oh. Can you tell that thought, we're a table sentence. of kids that had to read ahead their paragraphs <laughs> in <laughs> high funny. school and to like be able to like not sound stupid when we read? Because yeah. when you said it, you're like, DC, read. He was like, <laughs> thought. <laughs> <laughs> and he Sounded got three out. words into it. We started Sorry, Miss McGannity, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you skipped around in the paragraph. You, you, well, you I figured because uh, the viewers might be a lot of engineers, so I say the word, enunciate, <laughs> give them the definition. I like I like that the word you for know. bitch though is uh paddock. Yeah, because like, it sounds like parrot, and you can remember that. It's, it's, oh, it sounds like parrot. Like, 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 we it. also call bitches birds. Birds. Oh. <laughs> no, I I call I call women my friends. That's what I call them. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Indonesia DC, would love we about to suspend you. I don't DC's going to come in here next <laughs> week and not know that we just unplugged his <laughs> <laughs> the entire podcast. I'm not going to hear myself. That was a really good podcast, podcast, guys. I was like saying a lot of jokes. And, like, yeah, buddy. Yeah. Like, bro, I was yeah. killing right <laughs> Oh, yeah. my goodness, yo. So, Beric. what's, uh, who is, like, to Indonesia, like, comedians in Indonesia, who's the most famous over there as a... You're looking at him. No, <laughs> no, like American comic that like most people would like. Oh, damn! Like. You're looking at him. Oh my god! You're looking <laughs> at both of them. <laughs> who, who, who what are you? It? He's bigger than Seinfeld. He's bigger than the dude a, that a, goes. A theater right, comic. A theater yeah. stadium. Comic. Right now, it's probably I would say Joe Corey. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. Okay. Uh, and I want to say Trevor Noah. Wow. Oh that shit! Sense. That makes sense. That okay. makes yeah. sense. Okay. Trevor Noah is huge. Do you want to know one of my favorite stories? Um. DC Williams one time was Oh my god, able. this shit, bro. We talked about <laughs> this <laughs> once like His ago. face changed no. yeah, like bro. He just snap. <laughs> Every time you tell the story. <laughs> just tell it? it on stage. Uh, yeah. So DC oh was actually um, early on to his career when, when he was in a... Uh, was actually able to try to sell a movie no, to Trevor Noah. Makes... Let me, can I talk? No, can I talk? Let him talk. Can I talk? Can I talk? Fuck both of you. I want to know the story. Can he tell the non-fiction story? Jeez. By the way, you see how defensive and upsetting he's get? Yeah. It's, 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 <laughs> makes me want to know even more real. the story. Because it's real. Like, you know what, you, when sometimes when you say, if you if you do like crowd work and you're like, mm-hmm. hey, this guy looks like he does this and they don't really laugh, mm-hmm. it's because you said something real. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. trying to say? Like, yeah, yeah. Your crowd work sucks. I hate it. <laughs> see how see, I'm it's real. <laughs> <laughs> DC Williams was one time able to, was in a room to sell a movie to Trevor Noah. What do you mean sell a movie? Uh, like so, an idea of a movie? Like an idea of a movie. Yeah. So yeah. pitch him on something. Wait a second. I know something. this story. So We've done this D- on air. So DC one time came up to me. This was early on in our stand-up career with me uh-huh. and being friends. He goes, uh-huh. Hey man, you know we were talking about Trevor Noah. And he goes, yeah, but one time I was able to try to sell a movie. I go, really? He goes, yeah, dude. We were in the room together, so I started explaining this movie. It's about a dude who does comedy I... that lives in New York City, and he's a black guy from um, from Harlem, and he moves out to California to try to do acting and stand up, but it doesn't really work out. So he moves back to New York. And grant you, he's describing his life, and <laughs> and I go, no. And he goes, I go, yeah. He says, I'm explaining him this movie, and I go, 
all right, I'm listening. Oh, and how did you get this? What was what was what was what was Trevor doing? He goes, oh, he was at the Soho House. I go, oh, you're at the the Soho House is where a lot of celebrities go. I go, yeah. You were in at the Soho House. He goes, yeah, yeah. I go, what was Trevor doing? And he goes, oh, he was getting an omelet. I go, and what were you doing? He goes, I was making him the omelet. <laughs> That is awesome. Let's act it out. That's an awesome story. Let's act it out. Go ahead. Oh, tell me the story. You You be DC. Hey man, uh, yo, dude, this is there's this kid who moves here from South Florida to do comedy and gets hired by Gas Digital. Hey, hey, I said no onions. Oh. <laughs> sorry, man. Hey, man. Oh, yeah. Hey, man. Sorry, man. Oh, by the way, see how it shoots. Yeah. But you know, I respect that, that man. You were you you know shooting your shot. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> uh, let me ask you a question because we the, have we have a me we have a thing here where uh, Dylan like saying it. I don't like saying it as much because it's the best not story our Dylan word. Uh, but we have this thing called mooks. What, right? What's that? What's that? Now, I, I, Dylan, do you care to define I will, what I will a like mook is? I don't even know what so it is. I, I've I've learned it from uh, Derek Gaines and Dave Temple, and they've learned it from their mm. higher ups, uh, Two Ray Gordon from Philly, a mm. bunch of comics, right? Right. And um, mooks, if like is an Italian phrase for like a, like almost like a loser, or a mook, someone who comes in kind of just like okay. a, has a stank energy about him. When he yeah. comes in the room, everyone goes, "Well," uh, so okay. kind of like that. Dylan, so let me ask you a question about the mooks. The mooks. The mooks. He okay? knows them very well, it seems. So, I don't know. So I, don't know any moves. I don't know any moves, bro. So I DC, feel like, DC, you're acting like a fucking mook. <laughs> oh, no. How do you act like that? You're acting like a mook right How now. How do you act like that? Well, well, How well, do you act like that? How do you act like a mook? <laughs> you, well, you know, you just taught the class, bro. So, Dylan, let me ask you a question about the mooks. Because he knows everything. Uh, let me ask. Let me ask. Um, mooks, when they walk into a room, do they seem desperate? When mooks walk into a room, do they act almost insane? Yeah. Do they act like? Are you describing me? Do they? Look, <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not describing like you. I thought so. I was describing. It would be really funny at the end of it. It was <laughs> really gonna <laughs> hurt. <laughs> Dylan, if Dylan? this ended with me being like Dylan. something about me last week, it would have hurt Panji. Panji, it would have hurt. Dylan, he's gonna be like, "This was you last week at Producers Club." I'd be like, "Dude, like, you could have told me before the podcast." <laughs> Dylan, why would you ruin such a great bit? <laughs> it was pretty. It was a good laugh, though. Why would you? Why would you ruin such a great bit? No, I was describing your friend DC Williams. Oh, oh, oh no, I, that's not true. He sucked it out, though. I know he did, yo. What the fuck? You were doing so well for fifty-one minutes. I know, comedy genius. I saw it before it was coming. I'm like the Peter Parker of comedy. No, 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 no comedy, comedy genius com- was un- no one. I said no one. <laughs> no one. That was comedy. <laughs> that was funny. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, at one time, I, 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 I sarcastically said comedy genius after a joke did well, Grizzly Pear, oh, and then I was going through my set again. It was a very good set. I don't usually say that, but it was a good set. And at one point, I was riffing, and I forgot what the fuck I was talking about. I go, what the fuck was I talking about? And they laugh, and I go, comedy genius. I was like, just forgetting jokes, man. Comedy genius. Man. No. <laughs> you, so, you can't say shit like that on stage. Yeah. Comedy genius. You know what? I hate that. Yeah, fuck I, that. I hate when people, that, when people are like, no, 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 no. I hate when people like, Go, why you think you're a comedy genius? Like, yeah, shut exactly. the fuck up, bro. Just, just, just chill. Like, <laughs> like, like you, what, you went up there because you thought you were terrible at speaking out loud? Guys, also, you're joking. Guys, I finally found in oh, Indonesian God. something that I can say. I was about to say Genius comedian. Is it English? Yeah, oh, yeah. I mean, it, it just says the same thing. Anyway, same. actually, it's, I, I think it's uh, the word comedian in Indonesia is pelawak. Genius com- comedy. Oh, wow. Genius comedy. Jenny's comedy, comedy Jenny. We're Google. So, wait. <laughs> did you do any mook moves where you were like, <laughs> oh, that's what I, like I was trying this. to get to. I like this. Like, I did like you do this. anything that it was like, kind of like, <laughs> uh, I wish, mookie? I wish I didn't go into that room <laughs> that way. and talk to that I overstepped who's, who's, a little bit. I overstepped. Is it, yeah, thank you. Did you have a moment where you're like, I overstepped? And how many times has that happened to you now in Indonesia? Like when you go perform and someone wants to go into the green room, and now like, you get mooks. Uh, yeah, because I'm assuming you get mooks as well. Like people who, like me and like, Josh, asking you to do a podcast. No, we didn't know that you were that famous when we asked you. <laughs> really? No, I didn't know at all. Oh yeah, Josh. Josh kind of knew. Yeah. No, he knew. Yeah, I didn't know anything. I don't look up and I don't care. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but, yeah by the way, yeah. Josh is Jewish. That was calculated. That was calculated. <laughs> no, Josh read no, no. the numbers, double checked them. <laughs> he did a background check on you. He was like, "This will be." 
Bless you. <laughs> no pravda. He sneezed on the truth, by the way. Why? Uh, That's no pravda. Oh, uh, really? We both said the same thing. Yeah. So we're just we're just brothers. I know we, we're killing it today, bro. <laughs> killing it today. Remember when you first came questions. in and, I was got, and we got mad at each other? <laughs> um. So describe a moment where you felt like a mook. Here when I'm in New York. No, 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 in New York. Wait, wait, wait. In, in, in Indonesia. This segment is called Mook Moments. Mm. Mook Moments. Huh. Mook oh. Moments. Moments by Mooks. Mook, you can... I mean, when I enter a room, uh, I... Uh... You're obviously lower than everybody hey, in the room. How about this? How about this? I got a better one. I'll explain a Mook Moment. <laughs> I'll explain a Mook Moment for me, and then you can go into okay. it. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know Ari Shafir? I do. Ari Shafir is someone who comes frequents the studio. He's a reason why I used to listen on to like, Joe Rogan and... Uh, he's a big reason why I moved to New York. Mm. When I would come work, when I started working here, a lot mm. of big names would come here. I would mm. never have a mook moment. Mm. I would see them, be like, cool, go, whatever. Mm. When Ari was here, I walk, he walked in, none of the podcasters are here yet, and I was producing, and he sat right where you are, mm. and he goes, oh, yeah, man, thank you. And he's just in his phone, I go, oh, yeah, man, absolutely. And as I walked away, like kind of under my breath, like scared to say it, I just go, yeah, man, you're the reason I do comedy. That's a cock moment. And, and, and then, but it's it's a moment of like, it's a mook moment. It's I don't a, think that's a mook moment, bro. Really? I don't, I, a mook moment. That's a mook move. I, I don't think so. I think a mook move is like when, the, hold, the on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think a mook move moment is like you, Ari, and Big J are smoking a cigarette, and then I come in. By the way, no one shares cigarettes. No, I'm saying uh. we're smoking a cigarette. And you're smoking. It's all right. On the, and then the you don't know me. <laughs> But you kind of know me. You see me in, a, in the open mic scene. Yeah. Or you did a show with me. And then I like, hey, I remember you. But all I'm trying to do is be around Ari and Big J. I've always shut the fuck up. So that's for me, I think, a big time. For me, that was a mook moment. Because I was like, I'm, I'm going to be here a lot. Yeah. So I'm always going to I'm gonna be around you more. I don't need to have this weird little interaction with you. I can be cool. So for me, I'll, I'll, I'll put that on myself. That was for me a mook yeah. moment. Panji, we've been talking for the last seven minutes About trying mooks. to ask you this question. <laughs> About fucking mooks. Pa Panji, we're not going to be Doing nice anymore. Shit. It's almost at an hour. <laughs> Answer the goddamn question. You got question. two mooks asking if you ever mooked out. You hear this shit? He doesn't even know what I'm, it is. He's I'm like, still, no, no, no I understand now, but I'm trying to remember. I, I think there has to be lots of moments where I, where I did it, mm -hmm. where I did it. But I can't register it in my head right now. And it's never happened, bro. I never moved, dude. I go up to pros and I'm like, I'm glad I inspired you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> hey, yo. oh, wait, it's hey, yo. so funny to watch them go, and who are you? <laughs> I almost did a moment like you did. It was actually at the cellar. Um, now I, uh, now I'm, I'm so sorry. I forgot the name. Uh, you know that show, uh, Bumping Mics? Yeah. yeah. Dave Attell. Yeah. Dave Attell. Mm -hmm. I saw Dave Attell. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was when I got here, I was hoping to meet a lot of comedians, right? Yeah. A lot of comics that I watch on YouTube, and I keep going back and forth at McDougal Street because I've been going to you know Grocery Pair and mm -hmm. in, uh, Greenwich Village, and then I saw Dave Attell, and I stopped, and I wanted to take the take the he was uh, at the olive tree, you know how you yeah. take the ladder, mm -hmm. and I stopped, and I was about to go up and then uh, introduce myself as a comic from Indonesia, mm -hmm. and I was about to use. My leverage, which is my social, because I had this idea that I wanna, I wanna interview comics as a way yeah, to get yeah. to know them, and then I stopped because I thought that was a mook move. Ooh, <laughs> you know what's crazy? That's funny because exactly most, what we did. <laughs> <Can't> most, <laughs> most, by the way, by the way, if that was DC. He would have tried to sell him a movie. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck interview. What am I interviewing you for? Because <laughs> he would have walked up and been like, "Hey, man, you ever thought of a kid who moved oh. from New York to LA?" I would have been like, "Here's a funny sketch, man." <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it was. It was a while. I I stopped and then I thought, "Am I going to do this?" Or is it just, a, I, and then I thought, if I do my career well, eventually I'm going to have the opportunity to Or talk. if you walked up to them and went like, hey, I got a million followers, come here, would be like, yeah, I'll do your podcast. Panji, yeah. But that's, you know what's crazy? That's what would happen. The one person who would happen. not have done that is Dave Attell. No, it, Dave Attell would be like, watch Instagram. Like, <laughs> can I tell you something that's funny? Is uh, I heard a story about uh, Dave Attell recently where uh, it was another comic who, uh, every comic, I don't, don't want to say every comic wants Dave, Dave Attell's approval. But he's like he's the comics comic and also yeah. the people's comic just as much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I heard uh, someone told a story recently about how they never really had a lot of conversations with him. And then one day they're the, like on like uh, at the cellar and he walked by and he just started saying their credits and they were like, "Oh, that TV show, oh, that's doing pretty well." Oh, and then you got this. And he goes, "He know." So like mm. he's also a, a student of the game. I, I feel see. like so he's someone where it's like that's by the way, Panji. Like I don't like I'm. 
not to sound like a, a lame, not sound like a move, but like I respect you for that because you have the understanding of like, hey, if I really want to do this com- comedy shit, I'm gonna see you, David Tell. Yeah. That's gonna that, that's gonna come. You're, you're not yeah. worried about like, oh, I need to see David Tell right now and get that moment with him, and maybe everything. You think, you think, there's no there's no Cinderella moment with any comedian. Comp- yes, that, that's the problem. There's with- no but every comedian watching this, no matter what, big, small, tall, large, fucking Kevin Sanchez. There's no. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Wow. <laughs> there's no Cinderella moment. A, a, wow. But a, I mean, every I, comedian you, has a you see, Hold on, hold on, buddy. <laughs> the I way when he gets it. sensitive about now you broke his that, heart, bro. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll take off my shirt. I hate right when now. you do it. <laughs> do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do I wanna, it. I want to see your titties in mine. Kip, take off your shirt. Do it. Kip, take off your. Wow, this thing is really taking his shirt off. That's. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. No, you know why? By the way, by the way, you know why I didn't take off my shirt? Because I saw the I saw the eyes and I saw the eyes of Dylan. He got too excited. And, uh, I, I will say, granted, I did look at him right in the eyes and go, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Oh, my God. Um, but do you, do you I, think complimenting people is a mook thing? I don't. I, that's I not, okay, that's not, not a mook bro. thing. I meant more of like, just like, the, like you know, every, I, that's the thing about comedy where it, comedy is great. It's like when you get serious about comedy, there's a fine line of like, yeah, like, we all know, like we all, you have to appreciate and self-appreciate. But no one should ever get – when people get too serious about comedy mm. and too like, oh, dude, we're like, you know, we're like modern-day philosophers. Mm. Like, oh, yeah, all right. Fuck like, that, like, though, man. Show up, uh, cause a ruckus. Make people slap the tables of one. and fucking go home, bro. <laughs> Talk about some real shit, and, and that's the best you can fucking do. Yeah. That's the best you can fucking do. By the way, I'm pretty sure when I intro DC – Modern day philosopher is my intro this for DC. Is, this is modern as it fucking gets. <laughs> I heard my intro DC. My modern day philosopher, DC. If we're all philosophers, I have a philosophy too, so I shouldn't feel like a mook in any room because so, I have an opinion. But that's, that's, you get what I'm saying? Like yeah, I'm not, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not creating from a perspective of someone with zero opinion. I have one and I have a perspective. Yeah, you might have a different. You just might be more on. That's fine. Yeah, but I got some bits, bro. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's yeah, it. Yeah, and yeah, that's yeah. it. That's but it's cool because uh, Panji just told like, I, like that David tells story. That's a Cinderella moment. Did yeah. you have another Cinderella moment or anyone else? Like, what, what was your, like, every comedian had that moment of, like, this person's going to meet me. Go, like, you're one year in, and I'm going to take you on the road. It's, like, a couple years in. Not how it happens. Yeah. Okay. So, like, I'm saying, like, what, is, what, did you have a Cinderella moment with a comedian? Okay. Um, when you met me? I, I, no. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, was at the, <laughs> I was at the stand. And I, it wasn't like big comedians, but it was comedians I wanted respect from. Mm-hmm. And we were all, and people they do respect me. I just was trying to make too many. I wanted to make a joke that one of the comedians, but that was fun. Like, oh, you 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 want to do my show? Like, I was, and then I was like, what am I doing? You were trying to be funny. I was trying to be funny instead mm-hmm. of just That's the being, worst, being and, there. Yeah, <laughs> instead of just being there. You know what's so crazy? I you people don't know this. No one ever really gets shows off of like going to a circle and all of a sudden being like the funniest person in the circle. Yeah. Mm. It's you going to a circle, smoking seven joints without saying a word, and they finally go, Yo, who is you? Mm. Yeah. yeah. But I'll do my show. Nah, I usually perform and people are like, Hey, do you want to do another spot? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, work gets you <laughs> to say. I don't know how other people get fucked. <laughs> I don't know what other people um, do, but <laughs> Panji, Panji, Panji. You are a legitimate success. And yeah. you're not even there. Like it is insane the confidence that run through that runs through this thing. <laughs> it's not even confidence. I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck you guys. He's are trying to move his about. family out here. This guy's funny. <laughs> this guy's funny. No, it's but no, 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 no. But, but the Cinderella moment. I never had it with the comics. Comics don't like me. I don't. I don't, I don't have by, Cinderella moments. You did have a Cinderella moment. You tried selling a movie to Trevor that's Noah. That's not a fucking Cinderella moment. That is I just, because you I just, think in your head. That's not Cinderella. That is. That that's is. not. That's Cinderella not. moment is you this think was... that he's gonna go all of a sudden go. No, no. Come with me. What it was was Trevor said. Hey, I said, hey, what's up, Trevor? Like he. Was a regular guy, and I was like, Cut his mic. I'm a stand up comic. Cut his mic. Da, 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 and I went into it, and that was it. And that yeah, was you were it. having it wasn't a, like, I was like, you oh, were having a conversation. I wasn't that it. I was like, Trevor, you're cool, but listen to this. That that was more, that was more what, what was my perspective of it was. But wait, so hold that's on, not hold a on. Cinderella. My Cinderella moment happened with when I fucking, when I got past the comic I like strip, that he had to say and the owner was, story now was actually, I appreciate you, bro. We're over talking to each other. Sorry. No, I'm saying the Cinderella moment for me happened between me and um Rich before he died, and he was that's that's when I thought I was like oh my god is this really what it is is yeah. this being past here really getting made like I didn't really know I didn't know what it was I just knew that it happened you know the people that got and when he was talking to me that's the only Cinderella moment but, where I had you know, I was gonna say you're wrong but you're right because I remember talking to DC after that he got passed at the um, the comic strip live 
And I remember talking to him after that. He's like, yo, I don't need nobody else now. And I was like, yo, DC. <laughs> guy, dude, he has a way of reducing things to like absolute like clickbait titles, bro. I'm just like, bro, Guys, the name of this episode is that, Panji Exposes Indonesia. I said that, bro. <laughs> I say it right? Indonesia. Indonesia. Uh, Sorry, yeah, Indonesia. I was, no, I was, I was trying to think of also spell. I was, I was doing work in my head, Kev. It's all, it's all good. It's all good. I um yeah. yeah my biggest problem right now is that I wanna I wanna learn how to just like not worry be happy with where I'm at mm-hmm. right understand that I gotta work to get better and bigger mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but like f- appreciate the shit that I'm doing right yeah. now too yeah yeah, yeah that's a hard that, thing yeah. to do it is because yeah. you because uh, the thing comedy is such a contact sport you're in the proximity is is crazy because. You could be in the same place as someone physically, yeah. but nowhere near career wise. You know what I mean? Saying all those yeah, things. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. always right in front of you. You know what I mean? I so. also want to say that like I have these exactly. moments where it's like I could like when I walk into a circle and I don't know people, all I want to do is talk shit. Yeah. Right? But I can only do that with Dylan, DC, mm-hmm. Josh, Panji. Like you guys know who mm-hmm. I am. I'm right. a human. You know where you're coming from. But if I go into a circle and I don't know people. If I go to Indonesia, I talk about let's say, mm, I don't know, killing homeless people. Uh <laughs> let me tell you something. They love it. That big <laughs> standing O. <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, when he means standing O, he means everyone's gonna blow him. <laughs> Everyone, all the ladies, grandparents, <laughs> uh, Pangy, mothers, daughters, Pangy. sisters, cousins. They'll, they'll probably think you're Arab out there, right? Maybe. Um, you think? Depending nah. if he went, no, they wouldn't. No. Nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I just, I thought, I just figured they wouldn't. Before we get out of here in a little bit, um, Panji, I was wondering if there's anything else you want to like to say, say to say to the Indonesian people, and, and, and even like if there's like a young because com- I feel like this podcast a lot of times is uh, we have a lot of like, younger comics sometimes mm-hmm. watching, mm-hmm. and people really trying to figure out like, okay, how do I find my lane into this? And I feel you're a person who's carving his own lane. Yeah, it was. Uh, it's interesting what Kevin just said because I I had to remind myself to take it slow to pace myself right. because. Mm-hmm. DC was right. Sometimes you be in a room and then you see someone who's That's just... That's the first time anyone's ever said that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> who's that just, was insane. Who's just funny and better and then you feel like you want their career. Right. Yes. And then it makes you think think like, maybe I should do four mics a day. Mm-hmm. Maybe mm-hmm. I should not rest. Mm-hmm. But then I realized I'm going to be here for quite a while because the, right. uh, I, the dream is to move out here and to live here, right? So I have, I have time. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, I, I had to remind myself just... Just uh, take it uh, a step at a time, yeah. and then focus on the art, focus on the writing the joke, and then things would get better. But if you like the journey, you know the 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 end result is going to be Absolutely. there. Absolutely, that's and one... that's what you said. You, you said right, basically. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. What I've realized mostly is like it all. Even when because getting back into comedy before after the pandemic was very like I'm not gonna lie. He was. Oh yeah. I was getting to the point where I was I was I was a little frustrated with it because for me what it was. After just personally, just after um, the comic strip whole situation kind of fell through, the guy died. They scrapped late night. No one, you know, no one's doing it anymore. Mm. I was just, I was like, is this a sign that like you shouldn't be doing? You know what I mean? That's what it was yeah, for yeah, me. Yeah, 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 he yeah. was on some bro. You need to keep Build doing it. comedy. You Build need to it. keep doing comedy. You need to keep doing comedy. Like uh, you know, what I'm saying. I, I was. Uh, I I said this recently, and uh, I I didn't say it on the podcast. Um, I, I think DC DC Williams is a comedian again. We, fi- we finally got him back. It took a while. It the did. community it... finally got him back. Panji, you don't know what I'm talking about. Over the pandemic and a Over little the... afterwards, I'll say, I'm sorry. I was, I was, he was making music. Totally I lost shit. my homie, Panji. <laughs> He's over here doing beep bop shit saying, put my uh, critical don't, mask. Don't, don't, I'm going to put a dick in my ass. I never he said rapped that, that Panji. Never, Panji he I've never rapped, rapped anything that, ho- that homoerotic. He rapped clickbait. the bar. Critical <laughs> mask. Fuck around. Go put some dick in my ass. That was him. Uh, no, everybody in Indonesia I, go to my SoundCloud. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bar that he wrote, and I was like, "DC, please play the SoundCloud." SoundCloud. <laughs> <laughs> but it took a while. It took a while. It took about you know four what? months before I really started feeling like, "Okay, like I I'm, think I'm we're funny make again." Critical four months. Mass. Yeah, because I was. It was four months the before like, every week dope, dope. hosting a mic and hosting a show like Wednesday and Friday of really repeating that, and I was like, my brain started to feel comical again. Like I was like mm. uh, coming up with bits faster, and when you host, sometimes you write jokes. That true. night, you know true, what I true. mean? You tag on shit or whatever. Yeah. So it helped a lot. And then I'm like... That's why I admire a lot about Josh. What about him? He... No one expected he... him to say <laughs> Wow. <laughs> By the way, Kevin, <laughs> not only... You were surprised. Kevin said what we were all thinking, and then me and DC, what about the tape? Me and DC went... 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, answer him. No, no. Oh, answer shout out to Josh. No, no. Shout out to Josh Pallet, one of the funniest. No, shout out to Josh. Shout out to Josh. But seriously, <laughs> what? <laughs> no, but, you know, I, I've not been Not me, doing... not him. <laughs> no, no. Badly. I mean, I mean, he hosts, he, I see him host mics yeah, he a lot. He's good at hosting, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's very good at it. He too. put up a maximum effort. People, yeah, he does. People don't understand that. I've said that to him. We did a show one time in, um, um, where was it? Is it Patterson, New Jersey? No, where uh, West. with um jo- uh, John, mm. uh, uh, Poconos. Oh, Ziegel, yeah. We yeah. did the Poconos, and it was a big open. This is during pandemic, so it was mm-hmm. like tables outside. Mm-hmm. That guy comes up to us five minutes before we start and goes, "Hey, uh, we're all doing like 15, 20 minutes." He goes, mm. "Hey, can you guys um, you guys can do uh, there's like kids over there. Mm. You guys can do fifteen, twenty clean, right? <laughs> clean." <laughs> Not what? 15 minutes, no. What? No. <laughs> I didn't say that. Yeah. But when I tell you, I watch Josh, who's hosting. So Josh ends up going, yeah, I'll host. Like, he'll take hosting. He goes up there, and for the first, like, 10 minutes, just watching him work made me go, I'm going to have a good set. And I remember I went up I, I went up last and had a good set. I'm not trying to hype myself up. I remember him coming up to me and was like, that was, f- that was good, buddy. What the fuck was in your mind? I won't talk to you about this. Wow, was good, and I was like, I swear on this day, I still, to, I still to this day say it. It was Josh, mm. Mm. watching Josh go up there and go. I don't give a fuck about the situations. I'll make, I'll make fun of you guys and talk about mm-hmm. this. The he showed me that that crowd was great, and he that's what no that's what Josh does. Yeah. Even at the the uh, on producers club, there could be a bunch of comics all on their ass, all not yeah. giving a fuck. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Josh is go. Get out your yeah. ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out your yeah. ass. And we're he let them know too. We're gonna have fun here. Mm-hmm. And, and he'll make fun of everybody yeah, in the yeah. room. He Everyone. gives no fucks. That's why I do and, like about and, that. And he'll he'll make But seriously, home. you pick Josh. <laughs> <laughs> um No, it, it's uh we that's why we again, and that's what um I was just saying this to someone else recently. Um there's a there's a bunch of bunch of podcasts on this network, and mm. there's a couple people sometimes let's say there's a big guest, let's say Panji, let's say today you couldn't make it. Mm. We still need to have. We still need to record. So maybe we'll call somebody. And Josh is one someone we would call. Mm. And it's not that he's a last minute thought. It's that he's so consistently good, and you know he's gonna come through every time. If if, if, a, if you're running a show, your host drops, call Josh. Yeah, he's gonna come level that shit and do it well and do it with like yeah. any no, expertise. He's a, he's a, he's a, so that's awesome. So like again, go check out. Uh, but what the fuck were you gonna say? Yeah, you were supposed <laughs> to say something about Josh that you were you were saying what you admire about Josh or what you like about him. Oh yeah, because he yeah. Um, his hosting ability. Yeah, yeah, his hosting ability. Yeah. I think, he, yeah. I think he, no, he did say that. He okay. said, he said the, "Am yeah, I wrong?" Yeah, he said yeah, that yeah, he's, yeah, you're right. You're right pure you're right. hosting ability. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and he sometimes he work on a crowd and then it didn't it didn't happen and then he he's okay. He's, he's he finds his way and yeah, then he yeah. wins the crowd. Yeah. Pangeo, we also just found out my friends don't listen. Yeah. I think I think Josh is a great retorter. <laughs> Yeah, he's yeah. good at. He's really. I good thought at my first, for a split second. I thought he called him retarded. No, 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 no. Like, retort, like, when he was it comes like the to, thing about Josh though. He's the like, greatest retard. <laughs> 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 That's what they call him, the yeah, great retard. The great retard. <laughs> retard. Hey, hey, Josh, we got the name of your first special, the great retard. Retard. He's really, he's really funny with the quips, and he's, he's like yeah. fast. He and shit. Retard. But the thing I admire the most is he puts an effort. I mean, I've been Mike. I've been to Mike's. Yeah. I've been to Mike. Some yeah, it's, uh, they're not like that. You mm-hmm. know? No, yeah. I know what no, you no. mean. Admirable. It's, it, it's uh, interesting. It's like uh, when we would do New York Comedy Club and we met Momo. Yeah, I feel like sometimes we overlook how great Josh not. is as like a oh. as a host. Where someone like Panji goes, you don't like what you're modern. trying to say is there's no other open mics like that. You go yeah. open mics, everyone's an- mine. mean, annoying. Yeah. I, 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 I don't want to be there. Great. Don't want to be. Don't want to be there. Maybe it's don't on like wanna... let's say it's on like 145th yeah. way out of the fucking way. Well, I think Buddha. <laughs> really though. <laughs> but I'm uh, saying his shows on 145th is way out of the way. Uh, <laughs> we gotta get you on that one. It's a fun mic. Okay, it's a fun mic. No, 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 no. Like the, oh, the show. show. The show. Yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah, there's a lot of mics that people don't understand. Is yo, like, don't host an open mic if you don't love depressing. comedy. Yeah, 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 you gotta really yeah, love yeah. comedy. You really do. You gotta really to love host comedy. a show. Even you have to love comedy. Yeah. You ever see a host go up there? They're just like, uh, I guess I'm here. <laughs> I guess I'm here. <laughs> Hi. Yeah. Oh um, my God, you guys came to see me, yeah. but unfortunately, only like four minutes, you know, and I gotta put the rest of these losers up. This comment, so, by the way, the best, like, thing, the best, the best host is the ones that go, guys. Don't worry, we we'll only have like four comedians left. left. That's, I hate <laughs> Look, they go up and they're like, "What do we got? That pantry? What's up, guys? What's going on here? What do we, we got? Chairs? You guys got chairs in here? We got by backdrop? Way, <laughs> it's like, what are you doing? You know, I say this shit, and I go. The first thing I do every time I, go, I just abuse everybody. <laughs> the room. This, the room. <laughs> Abuse the, ab- room. Ab- abuse the room. Abuse the room. You know this. Though. When I go to producers, I think every set. If you were, they do record it. You can look back at every set of mine. There's one joke in there. It's not even a joke. I just say something mean to Hope. 
<laughs> Last week I said to Hope, I go, Hope, whoever your drug dealer is, give me his number so I can block it. <laughs> <laughs> because whatever you're on, I want to stay away from. <laughs> I, I, By the way, you see how everyone's laughing? Yeah. No one laughed in that room. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch was making drink. <laughs> 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 no, that's not funny, but you're gonna, you're gonna do it. Yeah, right, yeah, right. That's not funny. Oh my God. Hurricane Hope. Shout Hurricane Hope. Shout out to Hurricane Hope. Shout Shout out to Hurricane Hope. Hope. Wait, you know, you know about Hurricane Hope? The girl Hurricane named out the Hope. thing that she doesn't have? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh my God. I'll say it again. Shout out to Hope. Hurricane oh, Hope, the girl shit. is named after the thing that she doesn't have. Yo, son, he said you anti FEMA, son. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you talking about FEMA. He said she don't got no hope. She got no hope. You don't yeah, even got FEMA ain't coming. I'm just no. FEMA ain't coming, yo. Oh, By the way, you I, New Orleans underwater, joke, motherfucker. You 06. <laughs> that's what he said. That joke was so mean hearted. Panji looked at Natalie like, is this okay? <laughs> <laughs> what they're doing? Okay. You know what, though? If, if it gets back to her, we invite her on the pod, you could eviscerate this asshole. You know? Yeah. yeah. Wait, All one? three of us. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll count as one. This is doped one up and giant dying. Oh, yeah, we count the, we're, we're a unit. We're, one, we're a unit. One doped giant up. Unshaved we're monkey we're asshole. a unit. <laughs> but if we get into a fight, Guys, I'm I'm doing a bit right now that's gonna change your mind about that. I don't want to fight nobody. By the way, Kev, uh, uh, about uh, we were uh, one time hanging at my house and we were chilling in my bedroom. And whoa, don't whoa, say, whoa, hey, yo, whoa, my man, tight hey, yo, out, hey, yo. We were laying down next we're to each other, cuddling. Why you have to say bedroom? You didn't have to say bedroom. So bro. me and him were chilling in the bed yeah, together. Out, hey, 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 geez, bro. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan just know, Dylan, Dylan, that time stamp. Hold on, hold on, <laughs> Dylan. Just know you just made me lose a hundred thousand Indonesian fans. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. Me and Tommy was chilling, he was in the bedroom. Kev took his shirt off. <laughs> what? You thought you said they liked wild? <laughs> Crazy Kev. Wild. All right, guys. Good, no. Hey, let me get him back real quick. I'm so, I'll kill a homeless man right now for you. <laughs> I, I'm so gangster, I fuck dudes now. Wow. <laughs> I was actually wild. Kevin, you didn't have to that. double down. You gotta double down I, in this That's place. how chaotic testosterone is, though. Yeah, yeah. Because if you put it in a place, and there's, look, that's it. Women are literally like a placeholder for whoa, anything we would whoa, fuck. No, no, uh, think about uh, it. Uh, here, 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 hear me out, hear me out. I'm gonna take what? it there. I'm gonna take it there. Look, look. Put a, got, I can't the, wait to hear this take. <laughs> I can't wait to hear this take. <laughs> like, think on. about it, bro. If a dude, if think guys, it. if guys. Can't, if if women are down. around, slow down. Mm -hmm. The guy's heterosexual. He'll be able to, you know, get laid, have sex with women, whatever it is, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. If you put those same men in a place where they don't have access to women, they will still need to put their dick in a are hole. You, you know what prison? DC just said? If, they would, if he wait, ever goes to that? if he ever goes to jail, he never going. He's never going to go see. Allah. I'm not going to By jail. Way, just, 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 well, do you mean prison? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> prison. So when you go, no, no, hear me out, right? So Natalie, think about it. I timed it better. Think about it, right? Because they say it happens all the time, and those same dudes will get out, and they're still. Like into women allegedly, whatever it is. I'm just saying show. though, it seems just uh, just like the last take I made. Well, the last week when I made this point, Nat agreed with me about the Nat house. never yeah. agreed. She with did you. when I said how supremacy couldn't she be complete me that's 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 because that's dudes that's are supposed that. to colonize places and they kill the men and then yeah. he still decided to get some pussy. Which if you go to Africa to colonize it, but you fucking African women, you're making another black dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I was talking about how like pussy has saved places from being totally like slaughtered. And you get what, what I'm saying though? About? I do. I you do. Get, exactly. I get, I get your point. You get what I'm yeah. saying? You if, have if, an argument. Slow down. Ex so if supremacists, if, if, if supremacists were focused, you get the light. You get, <laughs> I, I got a better one. I got a better one. DC. Etch the onions. Yo, yo. Etch the onions. Let's go. That's the everything. When DC yeah. talked too much, hey, yo, my man. I said skip no, the onions. No. <laughs> I, was at, I was at comedy in Harlem. He's still trying to talk. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, <laughs> this nigga Smokey turned the light off of you. <laughs> Comedy club. It is the comedy club. You turn the light off, bro. I swear to God, bro. Oh, it's so I swear to God, dying. bro. The <laughs> Sunday morning <laughs> smoke show. Yeah. Thank you for coming out. Thank you so much for joining us. It's my pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah, Hell yeah. That's it. You just want to end it right This is a Sunday morning smoke oh, show. <laughs> you guys both. <laughs> they both just was like, oh. He did the ender. He did the ender. We voice. just, we usually say goodbye. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, guys, guys. Love you guys. Seriously. I love you guys. Seriously, Pangy, man. I love you too. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. I hope much. you had fun Hell today. Yeah, I had so much fun. Thank you. Hell yeah. DC. Uh, yes, sir. Get him. Are they, are they very peaceful out was, there? Guys, that was us yeah. pandering so this, right there. So we never give good. handshakes on the pod. Yeah, we do. I do. No, we've done it before. Yeah. Um, guys, please, thank you so much for uh, here. Subscribe to Doped Up and Dying on YouTube, on audio platforms. Leave a comment. And to the guy who said last week, 
when I, I mentioned that <sighs> Dope Dope and Dine, uh, it comes out at 11 a.m. every Sunday, and I go, you know, we're a tough cup of coffee in the morning. Oh, I didn't say yeah. that. I go, we're a tough thing to listen to in the morning. Yeah. And someone comes to go, We're like nah, dollar coffee. Dope Dope and Dine, it's like a nice cup of coffee in the Bodega morning. Bodega coffee, Ooh. though. So this is Dope Dope and Dine, the Sunday morning coffee show. Coffee show. <laughs> there we go. We'll work on that. Smoke that's a blunt. Okay. Smoke a blunt. And I like that comment, too. On We're the round table of fuckery, guys. We'll see you next hey, week. Hey, I like that round table. Oh, that's a bar. <laughs> Guys, thank you for watching the last episode. Please like and subscribe, follow. And make sure to go to the new YouTube page, Doped Up Podcast on YouTube. Go give that a follow. We're pushing all the episodes to the Doped Up YouTube page now. So all the new episodes will be up there. Guys, thank you for watching. Hit the bell.